Well, I'm back here in the school here. Um, I wouldn't think I've wasted four days of my life, but uh, in reality I guess I have. But I'll put it down to experience. Uh, the school in Sarah Pearl Mum wasn't as good as I was hoping it to be. Um, I'd say the children were not really interested in anything at all. Um, but the director was okay. And some of the teachers were good. Um, people who worked there were quite friendly and they did their best to make me welcome. But I do feel like I've just wasted a few days of my life being there. Um, didn't really, don't think I really achieved anything. Um, I made four of my little stoves for them, so maybe remember that for the future and think about recycling and things. But I don't, I don't hold out much hope. Um, what else can I say? Uh, I went to see the uh, the Condors. Uh, our friends who were going to be there yesterday, who actually invited me to come and see the Condors, actually let me down, and they didn't turn up. And um, so I had to go by the coach with the school kids. And that was sort of an interesting experience because as soon as I got on there, the teacher shouting at them because the driver had to pick up three bags of rubbish after the journey from Sibiletti to where the school was. And the teachers having got them, they shouldn't be throwing all the rubbish on the floor and expecting other people to pick it up. Um, uh, and that was a, I thought it was quite good, the teacher actually standing up to them for once and sort of telling them, you know, what they should be doing. A bit of discipline, a bit of strictness. Um, they were right at the condors. Uh, it was okay. I won't really uh, go out my way again to see it. Um, the ceremony with, with the indigenous people was oh, so so. And then we actually see the condors sort of let loose. And um, two of them sort of showed their faces and then flew the other way. And then the last one sort of came out and uh, sort of tried its wings and sort of did a crash dive into the rocks and then sort of hid for a while, a bit of shame. And I think it's going to fly up again later on. And that was it. So back on, the back on the coach again, and the teacher's now having a real go at them, you can see on the video, because one of the children had actually slashed one in the back of the seats. Yeah, and we'll, I'll say, what do you do with kids like this? I mean, these are sort of better educated kids, and they, you know, these teachers are working for free at the weekend, they give up their time, and the kids show no respect at all, they damage the coach and everything else. And, it just shows you that what's going on a bit here in the country uh, wasn't a good example of uh, behaviour. And uh, that was it, really. Um, one of my other videos, you'll see that I talked about the rubbish. The indigenous people talk about Mother Nature. Yeah, it's all what they talk about, exactly. When it comes to reality, they throw all the plastic like everybody else does, where they only live. So on one house two kilometres away from where the um, condors were released. And when you go out around the side, you just see all the plastic just thrown away there. There is a video showing it. But trust me, there's more on the video shows. So it's all talk. This, this is absolutely rubbish. So it's been an experience, but it's not one of the best ones I've had. Uh, it's where I'm going to be back at school now. I'm going to find somewhere to sleep on the floor here. But uh, this is it my home for tonight, up at 6 o'clock in the morning and hold it off by 7 o'clock and we'll see. And 33 come to walk tomorrow and then we'll see what happens from there. So it's been a disappointing four or five days I would say. Um, it's incredible the view though, if you could just see that if you get down, if you ever come down this part of the world, the open space is just incredible to just look and see. As far as you can see in any direction, it's just nothing. But we can't, no one can live there. There's just no water. So it's interesting, but wasted on the kids. They just don't, they just want to get back on the coach, look at their phones, get back to Facebook, and that's it.